So what kind of divisions are there in the reigning horse competitions? They try to make it fair. Over everything you have open and non-pro. The open is for riders and, well, it's open for everyone technically, but typically it's for trainers and people who are making a living in this industry. Obviously they're doing it for a living. They're, they're able to do it all day. It would be very hard for a non-pro to compete sometimes. Although I, a caveat to that, I'd say today, there's some unbelievably strong non-pros that would give me a run for my money any day of the week. It's open to anyone. Then there's non-pro divisions. All of the levels are based on earnings, whether it's the rider's earnings or it's the horse's earnings. Everything is done in a way to make it fair. You know, if you earn a certain amount of money in reigning horse competitions, you have to level up. You know, if your horse has won a certain amount of money, it's not going to be allowed in the novice horse level one. You know, it's, it's won enough money, proving that it's good enough to compete at a certain level, making it then fair or unfair for those who are coming in at the bottom or coming in at the beginning. That's really how the whole thing is, is set up. It's either on your level of experience and the money that you've earned over the course of your career, or it's based on the horse's level of experience and the money that he's or she's won over the course of its career. And as you win more money with the horse or yourself, you're going to have to level up.